Hi, welcome to Cairo's House. Today we're going to be looking at the Shimano Junction A. Code is EW-RS910. And that's what it looks like there, that little fella. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, look around the box, Junction A and all different languages. Nothing on the top, around the back. Um, barcodes and stuff. On the side, that is where you can fit it. So top top uh, picture here is uh, in the bar end, which is what I'm going to be fitting. And the second picture down, you can fit it in your frame if your frame has the correct aperture. Um, it is compatible with eTube, which means you can adjust it on your phone or tablet, I believe. Um, providing you have got the new battery and the new uh, Bluetooth wireless unit. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so let's empty it all out. Nothing in there. Get rid of the box. Okay, first off. Um, instructions and how to fit it, which is always good. So there's a little picture of it in the bar end. So we've got charging port, we've got the LED uh, button and battery level indication and this is how you adjust it, just like you would do on the one if you've got it hanging below your stem that like I have at the moment. Um, and there's the instructions to fit it in the frame of the bike. Get rid of those. Okay, so what have we got in the box? We have a little packet, uh, nicely rolled, with two screws in it. See those there? Two screws. That, I believe, is for the frame, so you can screw it into your frame with the adapter. Put that there. Next up in the other bag, of all the little pieces, we have um, four sticky, I'm assuming double side sticky pads. Well, they're not pads, they're very thin, but um, they're sticky. Next up, we have this. Let's just get these out of the background. So we've got this. This is the um, bit for the frame, yeah, which the two screws go in, which I just showed you. Okay, we have one, two, two of those, two of those, one of these, and one of these. Okay, so we'll put that there. These um, go together like this. Oops, the bit fell out. Bear with me. These go together like this, and uh, they go over the ends of your bar like that. Okay, they fit over the ends, and the junction goes in the middle. I'll do a cut uh, when I put one together because I've got some bars next to me. Lastly, the uh, port itself. So let's get a good. Uh, okay, so here we go. So we've got charging. Charging port, a button, yeah, working. Um, the in battery indicator and the um, adjusty button. Um, it's not very big, as you can see. It's got two ports, um, which you can attach your e wires to. And in the box also is this. This is a flexible bit of rubber. It's kind of stretchy. Not overly, but it does stretch. Um, it's got numbers on the back. I believe they're centimetres. I could be wrong. Um, and that is for the opposite side that your um, junction box goes in. So your junction box goes in the end of your bar. The cable um, on some of the bars or most of the bars goes out and then it goes outside of your bar up to the shifter. Now on the other side to make it kind of the same you put this rubber bit on the outside of your bar and tape over it so that you've 
got the same on each side. Okay, so, put these in your bar. We're going to need one of them, one of them, one of them, and I think this. I can't find anything about it in the instructions. I've had a look. Um, so we'll, I'll just give you an idea of where I think that will go. I'm also going to need one of these. So, sticky pads off onto your bar ends. Here probably. Around the edge where you're going to put these two. Now, those two fit together and this goes inside and then that's what it will look like inside the bar, yeah? So that will be sticking out. If I can do it without it breaking, I'll try and put it into a bar end. So in it goes and it's worked the first time. So that's what it looks like. It's not straight, I can just turn that. There we go, so it's now straight. So the sticky pads will go underneath these black bits here yeah, that'll hold it in place. It won't be able to fall out. But what I think this black bit is for is, once I can get that out of the bar, there again my bars on the ground don't need them anymore um, I think this if you look here you've got two I think it goes over there like this and I think this goes inside the bar like that but I can't be sure because if I put it in my bar I'll probably never get it out so let's let me try and put this together. So I think it goes something like that. Yeah, and you can see the connections in there. So I think that's how it goes. I could be wrong, but that's how I think it goes. On the other side, you just make up a blank. Yeah. So you put that together, drop the blank in, he says, without it going in. Doesn't want to go in today. There we go. So it just looks like that. Yeah, and that will be on the other end. Um, I'm looking forward to putting these in. And um, just it will give it a cleaner look. So there and there. That's for the frame. There's some more sticky pads. This is what you get in the box. And this. Okay, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more um, unboxing videos, take care, see you later.